Welcome to episode one for the geometric series. Here, we're gonna add something like a half, plus a fourth, plus an eighth, plus a sixteenth, and on and on and on forever. Now, we can represent this using a square with perfect side area of one, and take a half of it, then take a fourth, take an eighth, and keep going on and on like this. And eventually, you will actually take the whole square and just add it again. This is a converging geometric series, and it looks like this in terms of a summation form. The general structure has an A, which is the first term, and an R, which is the common ratio. The sum can be found with this formula. Now, for R values, common ratios bigger than 1, or absolute values of R bigger than 1, you're constantly adding rectangles that are bigger and bigger, and so we call this a diverging series. However, in the case where you have a common ratio of an absolute value of r less than 1, you're always going to be adding a smaller number or smaller rectangle. So it will converge in this case. To see this visually, let's look at an exponential graph, which really is what a geometric series is, is an exponential function. For r values greater than 1, the series has an exponential graph that always goes up. But if you change the common ratio to 0 0.5, let's say, we see that it converges to the horizontal asymptote because it's a decreasing exponential function. Taking the example from earlier, let's plug in 1 half, which is our first term. And uh, essentially, you can just pretty much guess that if you plug in a equals 1 half and r equals 1 half, you will get the original sum of 1, which is indeed true. You do get the entire square back.